Wouldn't it be great if marketing just worked? Nice and quickly, with minimal expense. As marketing experts, we spend a large chunk of time discussing how best to market businesses. And the one thing all our clients have in common is that they want easy leads and fast results. These are perfectly understandable needs and we always do everything possible to achieve them. However, when we're signing a new client, we're always careful to manage their expectations and explain a few really key things. Like the fact that SEO takes a minimum of six months to even start producing results. That's not negotiable or something that can be sped up by working harder. There are some ways of speeding the process up a little bit, like blogging every single day for a month. But the harsh bottom line is that SEO takes time. It just does. There's no getting around it. Any marketing company that tries to sell you on the promise that they'll have hot leads and loads of cash flooding in within the month are quite simply lying to you. It's not impossible. We always hope it will happen and depending on your business model, it may even be perfectly achievable. But as a general rule of thumb, it's not very likely. Marketing is a long-term investment in the overall growth, success, strength and longevity of your business. A marketing strategy is what businesses invest in when they want to build a solid foundation and expand at a sustainable rate with every new expansion as strong as possible and ensuring that you create consistent, sustained, scalable income for years to come. Unfortunately, this reality creates a bit of a paradox because successful marketing requires investment and patience, yet sustaining that investment for long enough for it to pay off requires capital, which means that every business has a tipping point where they start looking at what they're spending compared to what they're generating from it and they think, hmm, this isn't working, we should stop. The problem with this is that the point at which they reach this conclusion is usually right before it all starts to pay off and the magic happens. I'm Hazel from Acrylic and I'm about to cut the marketing bullshit that marketers use to sell you their marketing packages and drop a few mind-blowing truth bombs that will clear up a couple of things about easy lead generation. Before I do that though, make sure you hit subscribe, like or follow so that you can see more of our awesome content. Okay, now that's out of the way. Here's the truth about easy lead generation. People are so reluctant to accept the truth of these pesky marketing realities that they will believe virtually anything in order to avoid facing the cold hard truth. Any marketing campaign is going to take six to 12 months to start generating leads. There are no instant results. There are faster results, but even those aren't instant. They require trial, error and patience to test and retest until you find what works for your business model and your brand. There are no cookie cutter solutions that you can slap together in a few days or even a few weeks that will suddenly bring in thousands of customers through your doors and make you millions of pounds. This isn't what people want to hear though. We're aware of that. Especially not when you're six months into a startup hemorrhaging money and wondering how the hell are you going to keep paying for all that marketing that has yet to generate any revenue. We get it, honestly, we really do. This is a conversation we have with almost every client at some point in their journey because it all takes time and time is money and money is precious and you want your marketing to generate more than it costs. You want easy lead generation. And we're here to provide that but before we do, can we please, please clear up a few misconceptions, false hopes, flawed beliefs and unfortunate perceptions you have about launching a new marketing campaign? Are you settled in? Because this is going to take a bit. Prepare to have your mind blow. It's time to cut the bullshit and explain how this whole marketing lark really works. First of all, sales funnels do work in time. Nobody wants to hear this because they feel it takes too long to convert prospects this way. They don't want to wait and people, particularly business owners, are naturally resistant to giving anything away for free. That's even true when it's their time, their knowledge, their skills. They want something 
or someone to tell them, actually, this is wrong. There's a faster way of doing it that doesn't actually require you to give stuff away for free. And that's exactly what marketing agencies are doing now. You'll see social media is flooded with ads that pretty much go along the lines of this. Don't give away free stuff and rely on sales funnels to get new clients. It doesn't work. Here, sign up for this free presentation in which we'll tell you how to get clients without giving away free consultations and after which you'll become part of our sales funnel so we can convince you to sign up for a free consultation with us in which we'll explain exactly how to get new clients without doing precisely what we've just done in order to get new clients ourselves. There is a reason that even the people trying to sell you on the notion that you don't have to do this are doing it. It works. It just doesn't work instantly. And by the way, that magical system they're selling you on, the one that doesn't require you to give away st free stuff or wait for a conversion process to work, it, it requires you to give away free stuff and wait for a conversion process to work. It's the sales funnel. They've just reframed it so that it sounds different. Secondly, ads are fast, but they are not instant. Running PPC ads is a great way to boost your business. Let's take Facebook as one example. These days you can put all of your fabulous content in front of a huge number of people very quickly. You just have to hit boost post and bosh. It's been seen by 50,000 people in a few days. There's just one thing, please don't do that. Seriously, don't. Boosting post is a huge waste of money. Yes, you are getting a fast and effective way of getting your post in front of more people, but what's it actually going to do for you? First of all, the targeting options in boosted posts aren't exactly as sophisticated as they are when you're using Facebook Ads Manager. Um, they're a lot better than they used to be, but you'll still be able to get um, highly effective targeting if you go through Ads Manager, much more so than you will do by just boosting a post. It does the same thing, um, it promotes your existing post, it just does it a lot more effectively when you do it properly. Secondly, where are you going to see the return on the money that you're spending in boosting all of these posts? If you're running a campaign with an effective strategy behind it, putting your content in front of a wider, wider audience to warm them up, um, when, you're, when you're being very targeted and you're looking at a very specific audience, is incredibly effective. You can then retarget them with other offers and it's highly effective. It's a great way of getting new customers, but this is a long process. You, you can't just hit boost post and make money. Um, if you have a product-based business, you might get a few sales doing this by boosting your posts, but had you done it the long way around with an effective strategy behind it, you would have hit, made a lot more sales for the same amount of money. So it isn't necessarily that it's not going to work categorically, it might, but even if it does, you, you could have got a lot more back for what you spent if you'd done it slightly differently. The problem with boosting posts is that it looks like success. At least sometimes it does. Um, but what you're actually looking at in terms of ROI is maybe 1%. And why would you settle for 1% when you could get 10% without spending a penny extra? Seems like a no-brainer to us, but you know, what do we know? An effective Facebook ad campaign is fast. It will get you leads a lot quicker than a purely organic content marketing strategy. However, it is not instant. You need to spend time warming up your audience so that they are aware of your brand and like you before you ever put an offer in front of them. That alone takes time. It just does. You then need to consistently retarget that warmed up audience while continuing to build it until those people are ready to buy from you. That might happen in a day or it might take a few months of consistent effort and a lot of tweaking to find the perfect content and offer combinations to actually appeal to the precise people that your product or service is intended for. Ads are incredibly powerful. When used in conjunction with an effective content marketing strategy and an inbound funnel, they are fire, but they are not instant. They need to have a clear strategy and a decent budget behind them and they need to be set up properly using Facebook Business Manager and the full assortment of tools that comes with it. 
We're talking about instant experiences, lead forms, multiple options and combinations using dynamic creative and a whole host of other awesome features that will ensure the amount you spend goes further and achieves more for you. Have patience, do it properly and be real realistic about how much you're going to have to spend on your ad budget in order to achieve the results that you actually want. Thirdly, you need to touch people. A lot. It's an unfortunate expression, but when we're talking about convincing people to buy from you, they need to get to know you first. This is part of the reason that ads aren't usually instant. People need to know who you are, what you do, and why they need what you do before they're going to be ready to actually buy from you. Even if you can skip all of that and find people who are already fully keyed in and desperate for exactly what you have, they need to know that you are the right place to get it. So they need to have faith in your brand, basically. They need to know you, like you, and trust you before they get to hand over any cash. And in order for them to reach that point, you need to put yourself in front of them, right in their path, often enough that they become aware of you and get to know you. In marketing, we call these points of contact where prospects interact with your business or your content. We call them touch points. <laughs> so um, a touch point might be an ad that somebody sees, a social post that they like, a blog they read, a video they watch, or an email that you send out to them. Um, it could be a podcast, word of mouth, um, a friend recommending you, or it might be your appearance in a Google search that they run um, that puts you right at the top of page one. A touch point can be any number of things, but every time a prospect interacts with your business, they get to know you more. Uh, the exact number you need to convert somebody varies depending on your business model. However, on average, it's around eight. Just remember, people need to convert into leads before they convert into sales. So that's eight points of contact to get somebody on your email list and then another eight or more before they buy from you. So that's a lot of touch points. That's a lot of them interacting with your business. So this is why running uh, ad campaigns targeted at cold audiences, that's to say people that have never interacted with you before, um, that expect them to actually buy something on the ad is seldom successful. So. Um, people don't know you yet, they don't like you, they've got no reason to trust you and your ad is just forgettable to them, there's no reason for them to remember it, let alone buy on it. Uh, and where a lot of businesses fall down is the obsession with running ads that are trying to make people buy things immediately. Um, there are some business models this works for, so shampoo for example and, and other products that are very simple. If you can create a really captivating ad for them, it's not actually that difficult to convince somebody to part with the five the next time they're at the supermarket for the sake of trying out a new brand that they saw online. But if you're selling high ticket items or complex concepts, it's going to take a lot more convincing. Um, shampoo is a necessity. We use it every day, it's a simple concept. We like to be clean, we like to smell nice, we like to look good. Even so, if it's a high-priced shampoo, people need to understand what's so special about it before they actually pay that much money for it. Um, as an example, I'm currently absolutely obsessed with Function of Beauty. They have awesome ads and content on social, uh, which I interact with regularly. And the first time I saw one, I was intrigued by the cool content. The concept was interesting and I kept looking at more of it until I was quite happy to part with 40 quid. I know, right? 40 quid for a bottle of shampoo. It's absolute madness. But they took the time to demonstrate why their shampoo was so cool and what was special about it. Their branding is perfect, their message is perfect, and they consistently showed up in my newsfeed for weeks on end. It wasn't difficult in the end, it just took patience. They were persistent. And they were repeatedly touching me, but not in a dodgy way, by showing me what they're all about. And this is what you need to do. Selling a service or a product that people don't use every day is considerably more complicated than selling shampoo. Um, but so often customers come to us asking for an ad to be run that, that tells people they should buy something immediately from a brand that they've never heard of before. And often a product or service that they've, they've never heard of before, or they might not understand why they need it um, and that's a really tough sell and we'll always say you know we need to warm up your audience first and we explain that instead of 
promoting a paid offer immediately. We promote quality content and offer something of value for free, which warms people up and allows them to get to know you and like you and trust you and all of that arc. And ensure that when you do finally hit them with a sales pitch, some of them will convert because they've had the time to get to know you. Yeah, but so, so often we are told, no, we need to promote sales immediately. We warn it won't work, um, but people are adamant that it must work. Um, it works for everybody else and they can't afford to wait. And while we completely understand that, and that, that sense of urgency and the perception that what you see other people doing is exactly what you're asking for, and that it, it must work for you because it's working for them and you need it to work. The truth is, it, it's just, it's very unlikely to work. And even if it does work, it's not going to bring you the return um, that you should get from it uh, if you've done it properly. But by the time people realize this, they've wasted a massive amount of time and often a, and often quite a good chunk of money um, running an ad campaign the way they wanted it to be run. Um, but the way that was was against what we actually advised and um, it's a really bizarre thing that that business owners do is they come to a marketing agency um, seeking expert advice but then ignore it because they want it doing um, the way they'd envisioned it being done in the first place and um, it, it, it kind of addles my brain a bit this one because um, if, if you're coming to a marketing agency because you don't know enough about marketing to effectively do something yourself, why are you asking us to do it the way you would do it yourself? Surely you would want to do it a better way. Which brings us to the fourth and final uncomfortable truth. You don't need leads. You need leads that convert. Um, we have a plaintive cry that we hear from business owners all the time who are worrying that their cash flow is just not balancing and that's that they just need leads um they need new business and they need it fast and they want to be provided with an endless stream of hot leads because leads are the holy grail um new leads mean new business more money right wrong you don't need leads you need leads that will convert um, lead generation in and of itself is pointless. It doesn't matter how many people sign up to your email list, book a free consultation, call you up or pop into your showroom. What matters is how many of those people actually convert into business. And beyond that, how many of them convert into business that you want? So too often there is um, the desire for new leads, short circuits, the logic centers in your brain. You focus on the generation of leads rather than the quality and ensuring that you have an effective means of consistently converting them into new business. 10,000 leads that never convert are worthless. 100 leads that convert but are the wrong type of customer and end up costing you time, money, resources, and worst of all, causing you so much stress that they prevent you from effectively finding and winning better customers. And um, they're less than worthless. So yes, you need leads, but you need to take the time to develop a strategy that will effectively attract the right leads, a reasonable proportion of whom will convert into paying customers. You need to take the time to warm up those leads so that they're familiar with your brand, trust you, and, and believe that you have the authority and credibility that they need so that when you do present them with an offer, they know who you are, believe you're capable of delivering what you're promising, like you, trust you enough to actually choose you. Now, if you've heard all of that and you are raging mad about it, feel free to give us a call and rant about the unfairness of it all. We're quite happy to listen. But if you're ready to swallow these rather uncomfortable and annoying truths and put an effective lead generation strategy in place for your business, just ping us a message and I'll book you in with a free consultation. Oh, I did that. <laughs> and we'll help you devise an awesome plan that will get you those leads that will actually be right for your business and convert.